Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wednesday, September 16th. Thanks to Mary Austin for getting us started. Devotions are from the Upper Room Discipline by David Rensberger. And our scripture is Matthew 20, 1 to 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. And so they went. And when he, when he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and toward and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? And they said to him, because no one has hired us. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to, to the first. And when those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought that they would receive more. But each of them received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So if the parable of the workers presents God's grace in a story with surprising social contours, it fits well with what precedes it. In Matthew 19, Jesus overturns expectations about family and property, reducing the absolute rights of men and elevating vulnerable children to be proprietors of God's reign. He advises a successful young man seeking eternal life to sell his goods and to follow him, since wealth is an obstacle to God's reign. His disciples protest repeatedly, but the final verse says it all. Many are, who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The parable of the workers embodies this drastic proverb, but probes deeper still into the nature of justice and equality. The landowner promises the workers hired first, I will pay you whatever is right. And when they complain, replies, I am doing you no wrong. It may feel unfair, and yet 
for Jesus, what is right is right, and what is right is generous and not what balances out. The first hired also complained, you have made them equal to us who have been born the labor of the day. Perhaps the landowner knows that the workers hired later will also have borne a burden, anxiety over whether they will find work to feed their families. The landowner then addresses a complaining worker as friend, implying that they are socially compatible, something a landowner and a day laborer never could be. And those who labored long are treated as equal both to those who were hired last and to their rich employers. This strange justice reflects God's enormous grace. We are not merely servants, but friends, companions of God, and we are all friends on an equal footing, whatever our spiritual and moral achievements. Let us pray. O oh, loving God, your generosity goes beyond what we expect or desire. Help us to rejoice when you call us friends and help us to act as friends to all. Amen. Now let's close with Freely, Freely, verse 2. will be last and the last will be first.